Okay, so this will be a uh, quick video on using the Skycraft Mod Pack Creator. Um, now, this should work for any custom version of the Skycraft Launcher, though some will probably need modifications. So, if you've already, already got a workspace, click Open Workspace. If not, hit New Workspace. I've already got one set up in my Documents folder. Um, so, it's pretty easy. To work with this. Uh, the system is really basic. Um, in this case, I'm using the Shadow Crypt mod pack. Uh, so, what you do is uh, when you create a new one, so if we say like create new pack, um, call it whatever, uh, I'm just going to make this Shadow Crypt 2, um, and it'll be pack uh, lat. Okay. Um, and you really don't have to, you can modify, modify the launch flags, um, it's not really important. Um, you can do other things here like exclude stuff, include stuff. But uh, for a basic mod pack, since you have full control of the folder structure, you really don't need to mess with anything. Uh, so I'm going to click save on here. Uh, okay, uh, let's say this is a 1710 I believe. You also have to set the game version in some cases, it depends on if you're loading in an existing pack or not. So we're going to open the directory for this. Uh, the directory defaults empty, uh, so there's nothing in here. So what you need to do, um, you need to find your Forge installer. This goes into your loaders folder. Um, without it, Forge will not be installed. Now the two default packs that come with the Skycraft launcher and setup do not have Forge with them, so when you install them, they install mods, but you don't get a launcher with them. I mean, you don't get a, a, the actual Forge installation with them. Um, but uh, for mods, it's pretty easy. So you go in, and I'm just going to copy literally this entire folder structure here. Um, so these are the mods I use in this mod pack. Um, but you can do anything. Uh, you can make uh, just about any mod pack with this, and you can throw any mods in it. It doesn't matter what version of Minecraft it is. Though I believe some older versions may act funny um, because of just how it's set up. I haven't tested older versions um, yet. I'm just messing with 1.7.10 here. Um, but you see this pack's got a lot of mods in here. Um, and that's all you got to do here. Um, this will be built, I believe, I believe it's just, yeah, it just stores all the data here. So all you got to do then is go back to the launcher and hit build. Um, and you just tell it where to go. And then version, we're just going to say this is version 1. Um, and it just packs everything into a uh, file structure system for easy to navigate. At least for the software, it's easy to navigate. For you, it's going to be cryptic because uh, if we go in here, um, it saves all the libraries so it's easy to get to them. But it puts all the mods in files like this um, with basically, you can't actually tell what's in there. But it creates a mod pack JSON which includes... Uh, references to all the mods. Um, if you're using a the custom launcher that I've created, um, in here you'll add uh, mod pack info, which I'll show you how to do that real quick. Uh, if I can find my Dropbox, there we are. Okay. And inside here, I have right there. This is a copy of the same thing, and there should be mod pack info somewhere in here. Actually, hold on, I don't believe. It. Oh, yeah, it's right. It doesn't go in this file. I about derped on that one. It goes into the packages.json. So, in here is where you specify all your mod packs. Now, I haven't figured out how to do this inside here. Theoretically, this can generate a package.json, but it doesn't really matter because you can just go really quick and copy everything out of here move it over into this file and I'm going to skip replacing uh, files because a lot of this is going to be duplicated because uh, I basically mirrored the pack um, but to put the second mod pack into the list uh, open this back up I'm going to copy this JSON reference Let's move that back up on that line just for sanity reasons. And we'll call this Shadowcraft 
Another another sh chef of craft too. Ah, yeah. I'm the smart one in the work today. Now let's make sure the version numbers match. Ship yep, version one, uh, minimum version. Uh, I believe actually that's. Actually, what I can do is just do this real quick, just to guarantee it doesn't act up. Uh, because it, it doesn't really care. The version number is almost entirely just for the user display side and for checking if a version is new or not. Um, the numbers really don't matter. So that's that's it here. And you can edit this. Like You can add a whole bunch of stuff like that. And all I have to do is wait for that to finish uploading. But since that was duplicate files, it's done uploading. And uh, I can show this in the launcher. Ignore the, the wall of red. That's the uh, middle of a modular force field update. Um, open recent and launcher. Zoomed up. Get this launched up. In theory, this should pick up the new data. If it doesn't, oh, yep, see, it picked up the new data. So we got a pack here, exactly what we put in here. And we can click install, log into our Mojang account, and it's downloading files. And we got 157 megabytes of downloads. We'll slowly sit there and go through them. First, we can drag this around. And I believe if we hover over this, uh, I guess it doesn't do that. Um, should be telling us down the bottom here, like so you can down screen. This is fairly quick. I mean, it, it all depends on your internet support. Mine is limited at best. I think uh, it does about one megabyte or something. Um, even though theoretically I should be getting 10 a second, it, it's hit or miss. Um, I actually could probably use that with speed detector, but coding that would be tedious. Yeah, that's uh, going really quick, and then it should go from download to installs down here. Although on my PC, the installs bar will probably flash for a second, and it'll go. Um, beauty part about having a SSD is it's instantaneous. And there we go. Packs launched. That's that's pretty much how you do that. And you can put as many monks in that list as you want, and of course let's terminate that. <laughs> 